What is up, internet? I am Tatachi. And... Wait a moment. I thought we already did this one. Fuck! All right. So we had a little bit of an issue with the VOD. So instead of scrapping the VOD, I decided to come back as a pre-recorded one. So there will be some times where I'll do pre-recorded stuff. So we're going back to Fear to Fear Fears to Fathom Northwood Hitchhike. I fucking did not like this one. About 40 fucking minutes. Uh, new game. I didn't want to do this. I did not want to do this, but I I had to because we lost the VOD. Somehow the VOD wasn't recorded correctly. So, oh, and the VOD on Twitch got muted. So it got completely destroyed. So June 16th. I, 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 just, I there's only four games in the series and I don't want to lose it. So I was like, all right, we'll do it again. This happened to me when I was 19. I'm a little over 21 now. I still remember this very clearly because of how creeped out I felt. I was a bit hesitant to write this out for the internet at first, but getting it out may help even if just a little bit. Okay, so I was recommended this by Rose. She had recommended this game to me, but I have also seen Jacksepticeye and Markiplier play it. So I figured we'd play it for Summer Jam. <laughs> I was one of those people that loved gaming conventions. I'd go to every convention I get the chance to and sometimes even meet some of my online friends though my parents weren't always thrilled at the idea of me going on interstate drives but a plane ticket would have been too expensive this convention I was at went great and it was now the day to drive back home but when I set off I soon realized the traffic was horrible I decided that I'd take the long way to avoid traffic. It took a little over 12 hour drive. Are we good? Okay, alright, so we're good. Um, in between uh, each little section, I will talk about what had happened on stream if you didn't see the stream. So... Do not text and drive. What do you think? Okay. Uh, that's remirating. Drive safe, Holly. Alright, so I'm a female. Driving at night is really therapeutic for me. Well, at least it used to be. I mean, it still is for me. Um... I had a little bit of chat interactions, but not enough to cause me not to be able to, like, play the game. Especially towards the end of the game, like, it, it that's when chat had more fun, when the, uh, the desktop was being interactable. Where did you reach? I don't know. I think this game took a lot longer on stream. It is a very short game. But it's a lot more like waiting around. Near halfway through the drive, I realized I was low on gas. Mom tricks you. I remember that. Because I got so pissed. Because if you don't get gas, you're so fucked. Because we were driving for a good 30 minutes on no gas. Told you to take that flight. Okay. Dad, give me a second, Jesus. Oh, Holly. It's gonna be late when you reach back. Hope you feel alright. Okay. <laughs> Come on. Ooh. I thought I could turn in there. I was horribly wrong. Pull my old mobile out. Get a little bit more. There we go. Get out of the car. Big car. Okay. Here. Oh, I just get back in the car? What the hell? 
Oh, I just get back in the car. What the hell? I was like trying to get everything prepped because I remember we have to get gas. I swear to God, if I don't get gas, we are so fucked. I hated it last time. Talk to this guy. How's your night going? He just looked at me. Okay. Ma'am. Uh, can I get 10 on pump 2? Mom wants me to pick up dog food. That's what I remember. Do you, are you headed to the bridge by yourself? The bridge? The North Valley... Northwood Valley Road. I mean, not a lot of people. Heard... Head down there this time of year. Okay. Thanks. I'm not joking, ma'am. Be careful. It's not safe out there. For about a century now, many people have been missing down there. And people who went looking for them never returned. Locals say the Northwood Valley monster had torn them up and hung them upside down in trees. Well, thanks for the guess. Okay, so before I even go and get mom's dog food. Oh, one more thing. If you see a woman in a white or blue gown trying to get a ride, do not stop. Just step on the gas as hard as you can. Some people say that she died in a car accident there on the prom night. Some say that they seek vengeance after where she murdered her. Regardless, she's out of she's out for blood. Whatever you did, you ever, ever whatever you do, never ever, ever under any circumstances pick up hitchhikers. Those people out there on the road are putting their thumbs out. They ain't what they think they mean. She's so much fucking text. They just ain't. Okay, so first things first, we gotta get gas. I'm sorry. So we do have to buy the dog food first? Oh, it's over here. For good boys and girls, Pat Pat. Yeet. Do not get it in the car. Toss. Perfect. 10 out of 10. Bro, you're not letting me grab gas. Why? Wait. Oh, you bastard. Pump it up to back two. There we go. Yay, I got gas. Okay. I fed the tank and I was off the road again. If you forget the gas, the game punishes you. Just saying. It just punishes you. So we got mom's dog food, and we got gas. Let's go. Whoa! Fuck you, dick. Being on the road, you do realize a thing. Monsters truly do exist. Called humans. And every single one of them look like you and me. Mom's text, which I can't read when we're turning. It's not expired or anything, right? Well, you bought it from a fucking gas station. Ah, oh, shit. Shh. There we go. You used to drive, like, I swear to God. During live stream, we had to drive one mile an hour through this, and I fucking hated every second of it. Oh, that's that dick that run me off the road. Cutting me off. That's what I thought, dude. Move it. Come on, let's go. Oh, he's picking up speed now. Where are you going, buddy? Where are you going? Oh, I think he's gone. He's gone, gone. Gone, 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 gone. Okay. Slowly but surely, we're getting there. Just, just don't call me Shirley, okay? Just don't do it. Don't. If you haven't seen uh, Home Alone, we have that on our channel as well. I'll do a post right here so you guys know about it. We do a lot more, like, horror, indie horror games as well, especially during Summer Jam. Alright, we're on the bridge. But, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to doing more YouTube stuff. I don't know yet. I don't, I don't really know what I'm doing. There's a lot of weird stuff going on. I still kind of think that this is in, like, Pennsylvania. Because a lot of these bridges you see in Pennsylvania. And you usually go from, like, a real... 
like foresty area to like a real wet marsh type area like we're, we're driving through right now. I, I never know of a car that actually had headlights that would automatically turn off and then you turn back on. Ain't nothing on the radio. Sound like a goblin or a cat puking up a fur ball, Jesus. There's this very string. I saw two big giant logs in the middle of the road blocking it the way ahead. It almost seemed like someone had the disliberty of putting them there, but I didn't think that much of the time. Those were heavy. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Okay. That's not good. Come on, come on. Come on, turn over. Come on. The car wouldn't start back up. God damn it. And just like that, I was stranded in the middle of nowhere of no phone service. Uh, well, that's what you get for driving. I'm not going to say I was starting to believe whatever the bull crap that the gas station clerk was pulling, but I wouldn't be lying if I didn't feel a slight, slightest of unease. I don't mean to make this sound like a cliche horror story, but throughout my life, I was told not to take rides from strangers. Oh, oh shit, it's smoking. I never noticed it was smoking. But at this moment, I had no choice. Also, I like that there was a creeper texture right here. I was scared to think of how long it would take me to get home. 10.23 p.m. I saw a caller nearing. Bastard. I mean, I was almost roadkill. I didn't understand how nobody could leave another human being stranded like that. 10. 43 p.m. I'll walk towards the light like I'm a deer. <laughs> God, literally, literally pushes me. Okay, the shit I do. You're the girl from the gas station. Thank you so much for stopping. What are you trying to do out here? I think my car just broke down. I can't call for help. There's no so so phone service. You think you can give me a ride? Where are you headed to? Just the nearest stop where I can call for help. Hop in. Thank you so much. Wait here while I get my stuff. Hurry up. Just throw it in the back, and I won't be here too for long. Get the pet pet food. Throw it in the in the semi truck. Wait. Throw it in the Ford truck. Duffel bag. Throw it in the Ford truck. Suitcase. Throw it in the Ford truck. Suitcase number two. Throw it in the Ford truck. Skateboard hat. Throw it in the Ford truck. Hurry up, I need to get moving now. I'm done. Finally, I now, now hop in, be quick, okay. Oh, you got a nice lovely cab here. Is this a Ford F, F-150 or a Ford 350? I couldn't tell because I wasn't in the backwater town of Pennsylvania. So, you won't tell me who you are, where you're going. I'd rather not say if that's okay. If you say so. There was a game. There, there was a game somebody had played. It was either Jack or it was Mark, where there was always a hitchhiker that would try to, like, the driver would kill you. <laughs> you're really lucky I had to be on this side of town tonight. I must say, you're the one of the brave young women. How so? You got any clue what happened to your car back there? Yeah, it's an old car. That's so? I think so. Okay, so why does he have two clutches? I'm just noticing that right now. Relax, relax. So what do you think about what he told you back at the gas station? He really creeped me out. Interesting. Idiot tells that you the idiot tells that to every person traveling down here so is it true what the monster 
Let's see, I've never seen the monster for myself, but there are. There are some things, and I'm afraid your car breaking down couldn't have been one of them. Hey, listen, I don't want to start sounding like, or I don't want to sound like that moron, but just remember this. You don't bother them, and you don't be bothered. That's just uh, very awkward. You know, I'm sorry for being a jerk to you before. I'm not the best of people. Neither is society. 12.08 a.m. It's like two hours later. After a bit of uh, after a bit of small talk, he dropped me by a motel. Apparently, they offered roadside assistance. Besides, I thought I could use a little rest. Be careful. There are all kinds of people out there, he said ominously before leaving. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you for the ride. Okay, first things first. Vending machine. Yeah, here we go. Energy drink. Buy three of those. If you buy three, you get like a decent, like, sprint. Not approved for occupancy. Hmm. That's not, that's not good. It's like a Motel 6 here. The man was putting out the creepy vibes imaginable. Oh! It's fucking Sandman. From fucking Spider-Man. Gal needs a room to shack up for the night. How much is there for a room? Or, ooh, um, yes, I'm only gonna be here for a few hours. 40 for the single. Pay cash only. Cash. Room number nine, right over there. Talk about the car. 90, Tommy will take care of it next thing in the morning. Okay. Good, I'll let Tom, Tommy know. And one last thing. Try not to wake the other guests. They might not take very nicely to it. Leave. Okay. Oh, we can grab most of our stuff. Oh, that's right. We have to go to we have to go to the hotel room first because that's the dumbest part about this game is you lose a little bit of time not going to a hotel room. Oh, we got phone service. Uh, dad didn't text back. Mom did. You gotta do what you gotta do. Okay. It's very nice and warm inside. Except there are, there was a smell, a type of musk you get from an old house. Oh, fuck! God damn it, that still gets me every fucking time. I hate that. What are you doing here? You scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Who are you? I'm Tommy, room service here at Roadside Inn, the finest st stop over in Northwood. What are you doing here? You know, cleaning stuff. Guy at the front desk gave me this room. <laughs> I'm going to have to ask you to step outside while I make the room. I'll just get my stuff. It's Superman! We tried watching that on, on air, or on live, and, uh... Fuck, if you click off the TV at the worst spot, you do not get to watch the full episode. It's a nine-minute fucking episode, which is, like, in public domain on YouTube. I, I will say this, I am so glad when, like, game designers do that. Bitch, you already got- Bitch, we already bought you an energy drink. Have another one. There you go, now she's sprinting. Just gonna... Toss my shit over here. Creepy guy looking at me. Nothing I could do about that, unfortunately. Such a good puggy. All right, and uh, I'm gonna have to eat it. Don't eat my dog food, okay? I need that. I The one thing I, I will say about this is I hate that if you look closely at the hat, it says Emily is away. That game is so hard to play because Emily is such an uber bitch. Either Emily friend zones you or you're the biggest fucking incel. I hate that game. I refuse to ever play it. It breaks my heart every time because Emily truly does not love you and you do not truly love her. All right, I got all my stuff. Had a word with Joe about the situation. What is wrong with these people? Mercy, mercy, mercy. But don't you worry, it's safe here. I go get your car. And also, room's phone is not working. If you need anything, just ask for the front at the, fr ask for the front desk. We've been trying to get it fixed, 
but I haven't been seeing enough guests lately. <laughs> That's not creepy at all. But you have a good night. Okay, Tommy, get the fuck out. Hop in the bed. The fuck? Call it for sight, but something very off was very off about this place. No shit! Who's pissing in my damn thing? I couldn't have checked the feeling, but there was something worth a right. Okay. I feel tiredness overcoming by my anxiety. Hot cup of coffee I thought could help myself. There's a coffee machine over there. How am I already out of stamina again? French vanilla. Hot chocolate with milk. I'm gonna take a cappuccino. <laughs> I am fancy. A feasting tonight. Yes. Alright. Ooh, Moby. Okay. Oh! Oh, shit. Okay, I remember how to do this from live stream. The controls are backwards. I have been spiked with Molly. Bro. I'm so high right now. I think I saw Superman. I was sedated. <laughs> Wait, the phone doesn't work, I thought. Also, why am I already out of bed? K k hang up the phone. There we go. Alright, so... We don't go by the closet. Okay. There's Joe. Who is it? Joe from the front desk. Open the door. Open door. Joe, there's someone in my closet. Someone in the closet, Joe. Joe, there's someone in my closet. Didn't I specifically tell you not to wake anyone up? I have complaints. What are you making all those goofy noises for? Whatever it is, keep it down, miss. This is... is that... why are your eyes all red? Mentions coffee machine. Are you messing with me? We don't have a... we don't have no coffee machine here. It's right over there. Okay, here... Okay, okay. I've had enough of you. Crazy goons here. For once, I thought we had a sober guest. But I guess I'm crazy... the crazy one here. Follow me. I hate my job. Ba -da -da -ba -ba -ba. Coffee pot, coffee, coffee, coffee pot. Come on, Joe. Joe. Oh, don't, don't take five hours, Joe. Please don't. Please don't. Also, the trunk is open now, and the coffee pot's gone. Right here, Joe. What happened to me? Show me where the coffee machine is now. Right here. There we go. As I say, it was against it. For some reason, his demeanor completely changed. Go back to your room. I swear to God, it was right here. I said, go back to your room now. There should have been some medication in the room that should offer some relief. Check the table by the TV. So, the thing is, is Tommy and Joe are in on it, and I'm pretty sure this girl has been assaulted. Or at least I'm getting that vibe of assault. Just drawer. Requires water. See, now the dude in the closet's gone. If you touch it, it was automatic, like, game over. Because chat made me do it. We hop back in bed.
This is where like it takes a bit for the game to end. guys at the door. Get, get, get. Hello? get, go away. Is it? Pills you drop. Hello? Hello? I know you're in there. He's supposed to come. Oh, my mic doesn't even work during this. What the fuck? your help. Do nothing. Please leave. Please go away. I'm calling the police. I just need to talk to you. I swear I'm, I'm not a cop. Pretty late. Come on. Pretty sure he fucking murdered him. And to this day, I I find it really weird that the man should inferred not to get the cops involved and could have affected the motel's reputation and let go of the situation. I believe that the town would have been home to a cult or a drug ring or possibly something even worse. Tommy arrived at the car after that, what I felt like a year. I never went on a long road trip again. I would always take airplanes. So, there you go. That was Fear to Fathom. That was, of course, the game we've already played on stream, but we had lost proof that we played it on stream. I, I decided to do it again uh, because of the mere fact of just I wanted to have it archived just because of Summer Jam and all that. But as always, if you guys want me to play something on stream, please let me know in the comments below. If you want me to do more videos for YouTube, also let me know uh, in the comments below. Um, I got a couple things coming down the pipeline, but unfortunately, uh, it's going to take me a little bit of time because I'm working on a couple things. But you know where to find me. Tuesday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, 5 p.m. EST. Uh, Eastern Standard Time on my Twitch channel in the description below. Uh, you guys can also follow me on Twitter, TikTok. We also have a Discord. Uh, it's not as popular as some people, but we have it. But I will catch you guys in the next video or stream. 
I'm Tatashi. Love each other because the world sucks. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye. That's me in the corner. He has no start. That's me. I'm a loser. Our subject isn't cool. I'm sad.